you get the resume, you do some of these things, you submit it, and they call you in for an interview. It could be a phone interview first, but what's most important is coming in for the actual interview. How did you handle that? Well, the key thing is I tell people is you come in very comfortable, come in very confident. If you're already working in a company, you got nothing to lose when you go on, when you, when you pursue another interview. This is a learning process for you. So whether you get it or you don't get it, if you don't get it, that's great. So you can kind of figure out what worked and what didn't work and then just perfecting on that. An interview, like anything else, just takes practice. For me, I went in interviews for like companies for Sun Microsystems. And I, I remember I was very, very excited about that. But I didn't get the position. But I learned a lot about that um, experience. So when I interviewed at Cisco, I came in very comfortable because I already had a job. And I was very confident, even though I really wanted the position. So kind of come in with that come in with that perspective that you got nothing to lose, you're already working, and this is a learning experience in terms of how to do interviews. What kind of questions do they ask? Also, be humble. State what you know and what you do not know, and that will correspond with some of the things of what you put on your resume. Because one, you're being honest. You know, we're human beings. We're not perfect. Remember, we do not know everything in IT. So state what you know and what you do not know. Like, for example, you may say, yes, I configured BGP in terms of pairing with multiple um, providers. I've done BGP security. We've done prefix lists. But I have not done BGP confederations or communities. I haven't dealt with that in terms of my BGP experience. You're vouching for that. What you know and what you do, what you do not know. So they kind of know how to get their question tailored. If somebody asks you, well, how you configure BGP confederations, well, you kind of reflect it that you did not get involved with that. The one thing I realized also during interviews that has been a gold mine and very effective is what I call a step-by-step -step or a detailed approach. This is what management definitely loves to hear. They want to know how do you handle a project? How do you configure things? How do you support things on a step-by-step -step approach? For example, using the Cisco um, lifecycle, you can indicate that you go through the, your preparation phase. You gather the requirements from the business, the technical requirements, understanding the technical objectives of things like security, performance, scalability, reliability, etc. Then you go through a um, planning and you go through a design phase. You do assessments. You start coming up with what the design will look like based on the gathered requirements. Then from there, you can start building what the configuration will look like for that design that you're proposing. Then you indicate your support plan in terms of putting in network management system, documentation, training, and all the proactiveness behind it. You are provided to the interviewer, to that company, uh, a detailed approach of how you handle a project that for one you're showing confidence and you're showing how something can be structured management likes structure because what they see is what they want to get and they want to see a lot of structure with that and whenever I come in with a step-by-step -step approach I get very good results and this may be something you can work on over time but going to the interview and reflecting this can also help you out even with your current job to execute some of those um, some of those steps <clears throat> personality watch again when you're in the interviewer and um, you're interviewing for a company you want to observe the personalities so for me I like it when there's IT people in the room that's going to interview me because I want to know who I'm going to be working with because I've seen personalities where I'm like ooh that's an arrogant kind of personality that's going to be a conflict and uh, may not work though because you'll be eventually working with that person uh, I've been very fortunate because every interview I've been going into, the, I've been around a lot of humble people, just fantastic personality. So unless I'm lucky or not, um, that's what I look out for. Look out for the personalities because even if you're hired, you're working with these people. And as I talked about, interview practice. The more practice you do, the more confident, the more comfortable you will be. You will kind of perfect your step-by-step -step approach. You're being more humble. As everything, practice is definitely the key. So let's talk about some first steps. So we talked about a lot of the, um, some of the details of resumes, personalities, some of the IT umbrella stuff. Let's talk about, let's talk about the very first steps in terms of action items. 
So any person that's going for uh, a beginning level for a junior network engineer or want to start down that path, go for your CCNA certification. It's just one test. You get a Cisco press book. You definitely learn the material and so on. After you finish your CCNA, then you move on to your CCMP and your CCIE. That gives you a lot of great basis for learning a lot of the conceptual stuff and there's definitely labs involved. Definitely execute and do so. Buy various training materials and learn. Um, there are a lot of different websites including our website routehub.com slash training. We provide different kind of training for uh, what designs look like in most industries, how they're configured, and how some of the commands for monitoring it. That's a one approach for how we present our training material. There are other websites out there that presents the, um, different ways of presenting how to configure networks, how to build labs, etc. So you want to buy these materials and learn from them. The third thing, you want to buy a cheap lab from eBay. So you want to do that so you can kind of start building your own lab and from the CCNA and some of the training materials you can start building your lab, learning how to configure things and configuring it will enforce it because it's, it's two levels. There's conceptual then there's the hands-on or the lab work. You want to make sure that you understand both because the concepts will help you will help you to understand why you're configuring something on a router or a switch. So buy a cheap lab from eBay. Uh, complete mini labs many, many, many times until it's in force. Learn how to configure OSPF and EIGRP and do it to the point that it is so natural to you that you do not need to use the question mark and you can do all of it actually like in notepad on your computer if you, if you need to. Try to see if you can move up within your company if it's the right environment. Again, as we talked about from a previous slide, uh, find out if you can definitely move up within your company. If it's the right environment, you will you will clearly know. Don't say, you know what, maybe I'm maybe there's something there. Either it is or it's not. And you can easily see that if other people are making those moves. Every person always wants to do better in their IT field. You know, everybody wants, if I'm a network engineer, I want to be a senior network engineer. Then maybe I want to be a network manager or a network director. Everybody wants to progress in the career. So you may, so you pr will already know whether it's the right environment or not. Shadow and assist network enge um, engineers. Personality watch. Remember though, you may be, let's say, a desktop technician and you want to be a network engineer. Well, you notice that the personalities are questionable for you. Maybe it's a personality conflict that you do not like. Uh, maybe if you know they're not socially enough, so you're so that's a conflict for you. Each person is different, so you want to be careful of that because they may have a different vibe. They may come off 